I'll hold it and you search his pockets. He's clean. Yeah, crazy. I saw the roll he was packing. I haven't got any money. You're lying. I tell you, he was loaded. He must have ditched it somewhere. Now you've done it. I knew this guy was carrying a fat robe. Yeah, yeah, sure. You get yourself a pair of glasses. All that work for nothing. Come on. Good job, boy. They hardly touched you. You got something that belongs to me. Well, I guess maybe we got something to talk about. Take it from me? No, I didn't think so. I watched you out there, kid. You were scared. Real scared. Well, you're scared right now. Tell you what. I give you a car fare home. I'm not going home. Well, where are you headed? It's my business. But you don't seem to understand, kid. You're out of business. Hey, well, you had a hundred bucks here. How come you're hopping freights? Well, you aren't used to traveling this way. This is something new to you. Well, you don't even know how to handle yourself yet. Meaning what? Meaning you don't know how to hang on to what's yours. If I give this back to you, somebody else will just take it away again. What's your name, kid? Danny. Danny Winslow. Vic Stugan. You said you'd stole it out of Captain. Danny boy, I think maybe you got a long way to go.
while you sleep? Yeah. I'm thinking. Don't, you'll weaken the team. Going, Dix. Back to sleep. I'm serious. Wake up and talk to me. Where are you headed? Wherever this train's headed, I ain't particular. That's what I thought. I've got an idea. Congratulations. All right. What do you want to talk about? Well, I was just thinking, since you don't care where you go, just so long as you keep moving. Why can't we travel together? Well, for one thing, you got a hundred bucks, kid. Now, I don't know whether you know it or not, but a professional vagrant don't make much money. Well, the money will be my part of the deal. I... I'd just like to have someone to go with. It's your loop, man. I guess we're stuck with each other. Just take the train all the way in. Sure, all the way in and right to jail. Did you buy a ticket for this joyride? She's slowing down. Come on. You never do. Oh, I can't talk to boys the way you do. That's silly, Carrie. Besides, who has to talk? Oh, look who just walked in. Sherman's answer to the brainless wonder. Shh. My pa left a list of things for you to get, Jesse. You understand what you're to do now? I don't think you're getting through, honey. Try drawing pictures. Jesse, I'm talking to you. I know. I'd just like to look at you. Oh, wow. Maybe I should leave you two lovebirds alone. No. You're supposed to go down to the store and get your pa some supplies. Isn't that right? Yes, that's right. Thank you, Jesse. Look. Honey, you're trembling. Am I? 
I don't ever want to be alone with him. Just the thought of it. Oh, me. stop it, Carrie, for goodness sake. He's as harmless as a pup. Everybody knows it. The poor idiot likes you, that's all. What you need is a man, honey. I know. You'll see, one will come along. They always do. Small towns are all the same. You've seen one, you've seen them all. I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. It's a good idea. Oh, Pete. You won't tell your old man I was late, will you? No, of course not, but... But what? I shouldn't have brought her in here with you. Uh, what's the harm? You know how Pa feels about her. He's told you time and again not to let Sadie in here. How's he gonna know unless you tell him? Let me worry about it. Okay, what'll it be? Well, first, a little respect. We ain't bumming a meal. Oh, money man, huh? Well, now, ain't that interesting. You're gonna have to excuse the looks of this place. We ain't used to catering to the carriage trade. Well, do you think you could get back here with a menu before the food goes bad? The girl will wait on you, bud. Go on up there and wait on those clowns. All right. Have you made up your minds yet? Have I ever? Oh, you mean the order? Well, I'll have uh, scrambled eggs and coffee. The same. I've got a feeling you're spending the rest of our money right here. Well, now, what I got in mind, Danny boy, shouldn't cost me. Jesse, he does odd jobs around town. You know, you're a beautiful girl, Carrie. Bet you got a yellow dress. There's ruffles on it or something. You're making fun of me. No. Hey, why don't you put that dress on tonight? You and me will go for a walk. Maybe take in a movie. I'd like that. Oh, I don't know your name. Uh, Bix. What time you get off? Eight. I pick you up here? See you at eight. Danny. <laughs> That's a nice name. Where are you staying, kid? Save it, honey. There ain't no business here. Now, wait a minute. Besides, he's only a kid. He wouldn't appreciate it anyway. Listen, you. Cut it out, Bix. It's nice to meet someone with manners for a change. So now your day is complete. Now, I don't want to catch you messing around with my friend here. I've got no manners. 
Pay the check, Tiger. Come on, pay it. I don't know why you had to talk to her that way. Well, now, you just take advantage of my vast experience with the broads, Danny boy. That there Sadie is a direct descendant of the Black Widow Spider. She's gonna bite you. And when she gets her pearly whites into you, she's gonna drain your blood and your wallet. I don't know. That's right, you don't know. Where to now? Well, I recommend we tap the loot for a room. You agree, of course. I sure do. We can make up for the sleep we didn't get last night. Sounds great to me. Would that be all? Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? That will be all. Yeah. Yeah. Honey, I don't know about this. Please, Pa, we're just going for a walk. Yes, I know. But after all, he's a stranger in town. What do you know about him? He's a drifter. He'll one minute, gone the next. I don't want anything to happen to you, honey. I'm kind of fond of you. Pa, he's the first boy I've seen that I want to go out with. I don't know, he's... Well, he's kind of easy to talk to. Please, it's important to me. I think you're making a mistake. She's not that kind of girl. I'll grow up. You didn't fall for that shy routine, did you? Yeah, it's only seven. Still got an hour to kill. Hey, let's check the action in this town, huh? Right. Oh, Danny. About all that loot you've got pat in your pocket. What about it? Well, me with all my experience, don't you think I ought to kind of look after it? No, I'll hold on to it. What's the matter? Don't an honest face count for nothing? No. Nobody trusts nobody anymore. How's your game, Danny boy? I never played pool. You never played pool? Didn't they teach you nothing at home? Come on, follow. Change for 50, please. What are you trying to do, buy the place? Just break the 50, huh? How do you want it? Two 20s, a five, four ones, and some change. Two 20s, a five, one, two, three, four, change. You got it, buddy. All right, cut my teeth on these babies. Watch him close, you guys. He's an expert. Never mind them. Go ahead and play. Here. Never mind us. Let's prove how good a champ you are. Is this the way it's going to be, man? Friend, you're carrying a lot of money. Now, why don't you use some of it to prove how good you are? Well, I ain't a gambler. Me and my friend here are just killing a little time. So why don't you take your kindergarten and blow? Sure. We'll cut out. Street 
Just get off the dark. Be careful when you leave here, huh? Do they mean what I think they mean? What's that, Danny boy? They'll be waiting for us outside, is that it? That's the message I got. Well, what do we do about it? Bix? Well, let me see. If you want to look on the dark side, we get killed and they get our loot. And on the bright side, we keep our loot. But we get killed anyway. Any way you look at it, Danny boy, looks like we're going to get our heads bashed in. Bix, uh, why do we have to fight if we don't want to? Why can't we just... Because that's the way things are, kid. I told you once, it ain't easy to hold on to what's yours. Sometimes you got to fight for it. Well... We better not keep them waiting. I guess. Well, let's get down to business. There's four of them. And... Come here. There's four of them and two of us. That just don't come out right. What's so funny? Well, any way you look at it, we're going to get killed. says to tell you he'll make a deal. Oh, this should be good. Hand over the wallet nice and peaceful, and you can walk out of here the same way you came in. Well, now that don't make sense. If we give you our wallet, we go out of here flat broke. And man, that ain't the way we came in. Is that your answer then? That's it, Sonny. save a few teeth. Thank you. 
All right, kid. Let's get back to your room and get you fixed up. What about your day? Oh, forget it. Ain't that important? Man, have you got a lot to learn. Hold still. Now, the idea is to keep your face away from his fist. Not put it out there where he can find it. Guess I'm not much of a fighter. Well, what are you whispering for? It ain't no secret. You know, first thing in the morning, we're gonna have to get some new clothes. The sheriff sees us in these rags, he'll throw us in jail for vagrancy. Vicks. Yeah? I... I was scared. If you hadn't have been there, I would have run. I almost did anyway. Well, we're all scared sometimes, kid. When you're in a spot like tonight, you have two choices. You can stay and face it and be afraid, or you can run and be ashamed. It's up to you which is easiest to live with. That ain't too bad. Plastic surgeon fix you up in no time. Take a look. My dad would never believe this. You two didn't get along so good, huh? Well, sure. He's quite a guy. A lawyer. Go well, level with me, kid. What's this back alley trip for? He... He said they were getting a divorce. Just like that, he said. As though 19 years had been a waste of time. Well, so you cut out. You ran away. Well, how do you choose between two people who have always seemed like one to you? Well, I've never had that problem. I wouldn't know what to tell you. You're crowding me into a corner. Between my mother's tears and my dad's man-to-man -man talks, I couldn't think straight. I had to get away from them. Maybe without them pushing, I can work things out for myself. your dad's a lawyer. Does he make good money? He's always been able to give me whatever I wanted, within reason. I guess you'd say we're as close as a guy and his dad can be. Hmm. What's funny now? Sounds like my old man. We were real close, too. Took me everywhere he went. I knew every beer joint in town by the time I was eight. He gave me a lot of things, too. Mostly his fist to my face. Oh, I know these kind of guys, honey. He's a drifter. They never stay put very long. He might have left town last night. Shall I? No, Paul. I'll take the order. Hi, Carrie. Hi. 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 What are you going to have? Well, I don't know. What do you got? I waited for you last night. Yeah. Well, something came up out of nowhere and... and landed all over his face. <sighs> oh. Hey, no kidding, Carrie. I'm sorry. Let's make it for tonight. What do you say? Same time? All right, tonight. Can you imagine? What? Two hours I waited for him last night. Well, who? What are you talking Johnny, about? Johnny, who else? Two hours I wait and he doesn't even show up. Honestly, Carrie, sometimes I don't even... Hello there. Uh, Peggy? This is Bix, and this is, uh... Oh, uh, this is Danny. Hi. You're kind of cute for a boy. What happened to your face? Oh, he cut himself, uh, shaving. You got a dime? Sure. Follow me.
not mad about last night, are you? No. Good. Hey, don't forget that yellow dress. Go with the ruffles. Might even take you dancing. On it? Sure. You got a portable radio? Good, bring it along. Hey, who is that character back there? Keep staring at me. Oh, that's my father. Come on, Danny. See you later. What's wrong? What I do now? Women. My dress, it's blue. I don't have a yellow dress. And there isn't a ruffle on it anywhere. But it's the best dress I've got. Come here. Come on, sit down. about girls clothes you got a boyfriend somebody special oh no i don't know any boys really i mean really know them i don't get it I love the rings they make when they hit the water. still here? In the back. Well, if it isn't little Danny's mother. Now, I don't think the kid will need a mother anymore. I think maybe tonight he becomes a man. Yeah, how'd you figure that out? Sadie was in here earlier. Ain't she kind of robbing the cradle? He ain't no cradle tonight, friend. Where'd she take him? You hear me? Where'd she take him? What's this all about? This guy's nuts, Cal. Well, what's going on here? This bum sent my friend over that Sadie dame, and now he can't remember where she lives. Sadie? How many times? She lives around the corner, 933 Elm Street. Pete, you're through. No more excuses. Just get up.
Well, what's your problem? Sorry. Wrong room. Are you waiting for a bus? Get the heck out of here. Hey, wait a second. I'll be right out. Well, turn your back. Are you in the wrong room now? I don't know. Do you know now? I don't know what room I'm in. Now, Sadie, girl, we both know you ain't that expensive. Come on, put all that green back where it belongs. Well, now, I'm just not getting through to you, am I? Tell you what, take five out for yourself. It'll cover that cheap booze you used to get them drunk. Sadie, I hate hitting dames. Didn't your mother teach you any better? Maybe you ain't dishonest. Maybe you're just illiterate. Now, you look real close. You see, a two and an O side by side like that make 20, Sadie girl, not five. Ain't you ashamed? <laughs> but, Pa, it won't hurt to try. Now, look, honey. Please. All right, I'll think about it. Good morning, boys. Everything work out okay last night? Yeah. I, uh, 
Let Pete go. I don't hold with that kind of thing in my place. Yeah. I'll be kind of sure to help for a while. I'll have some scrambled eggs and coffee. Me too. Sure. What'd he say? He said they'll have scrambled eggs and coffee. Ask him, Paul. Go on, ask him. Nice day. Yeah? We just me and Carrie now for a while. Sure could use somebody to help out. I don't suppose you'd be interested in working for a spell. Me? I get cold sweats at the thought of it. Why don't you, Bix? We're getting kind of low on money. We'll manage. We didn't plan on hanging around. You, uh, really stuck? Siamese twins. Yeah. Yeah, if you... Creepy, as you're shaking like a leaf. Why? I don't like him, and I guess he knows it. He's always trying to touch me. Oh, wait, I don't see if you like to touch me. What do you have? I want the girl to wait on me. She's busy. I'll take your order. I want the girl. I said she's busy. Come back when she ain't. You better get ready to go. I'll take you home. Okay. Baby? Yep. It's all yours, Danny boy. Take over. I'll be all by myself in here. No, you won't. Well, uh, enjoy yourself. If you get a minute, you might wait on the customers, too. Uh-huh. You got a dime? Sherman. Well, it ain't the world. There's a lot more than this. I guess you've been about most every place there is. Yeah, just about. Hey, you want a bath? Oh, oh no, Come Bix, on, you now. wouldn't. Come on. No. Come on. No. Gary. <laughs> <sighs> don't you ever get tired? I mean, don't you ever feel like you want to stop? And do what? Well, stop and stay put someplace. A person's got to belong somewhere, doesn't he? You see that? It's been a roof over my head for so long, I wouldn't know no other kind. You get kind of lonesome sometimes, don't you, Carrie? Yeah, I kind of figure that. Don't let it get you. Someday some guy's gonna come to town and pick you out over everybody else. Will he, Dix? Sure. Well, before you know it, you'll be in love. Well, that's all you need to be in love with some guy. The right guy. How will I know? Beats me, I ain't no expert. Have you ever been in love? No. 
Never stayed in one place long enough. Never wanted to. Come on, kid. I'll take you home. It's getting late. Oh, my blouse. It's caught. You mean you can't move? No, it's caught on. No, dear, please. No. Well, now that you're half undressed, how about that bath now? Oh, no. I can see Pa's home. I didn't think he'd be home this early. Where's he been? Nate Cummings' son is getting married. They had a bachelor party for him. Well. You get to have a nice time? Yes, Paul. Looks like you did, too. Oh, you know me, honey. I never drink much. Well. Good night, Biggs. Yeah. Hey. What's wrong? You're drunk. No. Cal Anders. He was drunk. He smelled like my old man. Even looked like him. My old man. He used to work me over regular every time he got drunk. And he got drunk every day. Got to be routine. He didn't slug me when he came home. I thought he was sick. One night I hit him back. He fell down and he never got up again. He was so full of booze, he drowned in it. I killed him. Now the doc said the fall had nothing to do with it. He, he, his heart just gave out. But you said you killed him. I did. I wished him dead. Okay, say cheese, everybody. Cheese. <laughs> Thank you. Eat it all, kids. I made it with my own two dirty hands. Mm -hmm. I bet you've got a lot of hidden talent. I don't keep nothing hidden. It all shows. <laughs> hey, pass some of that milk. Now, uh, what do you give me for it? What do you want? If you have to ask, forget it, tiger. Yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. I'll be right back. Your heart's showing. He's leaving soon. I know he is. So? He leaves and another guy comes along. What's the problem? But I... I love him, Peggy. Do you? That's your mistake. There's no such animal. Danny? 
You homesick, kid? I guess they're pretty worried about me by now. Ain't hard to make a phone call. The operator does all the work. No, not yet. I, I'm not ready yet. For me, we ought to be moving on. She's kind of stuck on you. So? Well, maybe you're stuck on her, too. Now, look, bright boy, you start playing Cupid, I'm going to throw you to the fish. We don't have to move on. We could stay here for a while. No, we'll leave at the end of the week, just like we planned. We've been here too long already. Hey, you two, how about a swim? Oh, not yet, Tiger. You just finished eating. We'll take a walk with you, though. Ready? Coming? Seeing Carrie tonight? No, you take tonight off. But I thought that... Don't. Every time you think, it gives me a headache. Seems to me you ought to tell her then. She's not like other girls. You ought to tell her we're leaving soon. I'll be in the back. I have some supplies to unpack. Yourself, kid? Yeah. Where's the girl? Carrie. She. She left early tonight. I was uh, kind of wondering when you and your partner are going to leave. You know, in this town, we don't like people coming in and taking things that ain't theirs. You know what I mean? with this creep. Every time he shows up, somebody gets the jitters. I don't know. There's something about him. His eyes. He's not the harmless idiot they think he is. What do you want? Carrie. I'll take tonight off after all, okay? Sure. I'd hate to meet him in a dark alley some night. What would you do? Run? Did I say something or do something you didn't like? Look, Carrie. I don't know how to take you. I don't know what to do with you. I'm a drifter, a nobody. I ain't the guy you've been waiting for. I don't want to hurt you, but that's what'll happen. I'm no good for you, Carrie. But... I, I've never met anyone like you. And if you're lucky, you never will again. Well, you don't know anything. Now's the time for you to learn all the nice things. I can't teach them to you. The things you learn from me, you'd be better off never knowing. Ask your old man. He's got me pegged right. He knows I don't stay put. I think he'd like you to stay. Ah. Inside of a week, he'd be pushing me around, slapping me down. Making me hit back. It's no good, you and me, Carrie. It's just no good. Go on. If I'm something new to you, then maybe I, I could teach you something, too. Good night, Carrie. Innocence herself. And you can stop play acting because I followed you and Ella up here. Stay away from me, Jesse. Now, I've been watching you and him, and he don't stay away from you. And, oh, I 
I want is just to kiss you. Don't come near me. Don't you touch me. Touching don't hurt none. And you can stop pretending you're so lily white. Didn't I tell you I was watching you and him? Don't! 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 Trying to kiss her. She always says, no, no, Jesse. Someday you ain't gonna be around. What time will you be over tonight? I don't know. I have to check with Danny about something. The time's run out. That's it, isn't it, Biggs? You better go on home. Uh, Danny and I will finish up here. I... I have a surprise for you. Something I want to show you. I'll see you later. Later tonight. No? How should I know? Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. Look, Vix, I... I told you we could stay here for a while. At least until you're ready to... I'm ready now, man. Are you... sure you're doing the right thing? No, ain't this great. You giving me advice. I'm only trying to help. When I need your help, you little punk, I'll whistle for you. What's the matter with you? All of a sudden, everybody knows what's good for Vic. Even you. Well, look at you. You can't solve your own problems, but you got mine all figured out. I don't get it. Well, who's asking you to? Who's asking for any of this? Look, I don't need you, Danny boy. And I don't need her. I've never been tied down before, and I'm not going to start now. So get off my back, will you? Go on, get out of here. I said get out of here. Bill Coon said he'd give us a lift out of town. The truck pulls out at 10 sharp. That's great. You'll be on it. the funniest feeling. I can't explain it. It's true then, isn't it? You came to say goodbye. Carrie, I gotta make you understand. I don't know what I want. Maybe you're it. I just don't know. Please. Just yes or no. Are you leaving tonight? Carrie, listen up. I'll be back. But I will. I, I need time. I have to think. I, I tried to give you a reason for staying, but you wouldn't let me. All my life, I never belonged to nobody. I learned to live with it. I even learned to like it. I'll try to understand, Carrie. I didn't want this. I didn't want to get close. It just happened. And I ain't sure if it's for me. Maybe I gotta learn what it is to, to need someone. To be needed. Carrie.
I can't wait any longer. I'm late now. My dress. It has ruffles on it. Hey, who did? I. I love you. What was that? I don't know. I'll, I'll go find out. No, no, don't go. Look, you, you stay right here. Oh, Gary. Forgive me. Gary, you were right. A guy does have to belong to somebody. Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh. Uh -huh. She died in my arms. You told me that. What a night. This has been a peaceful town for 20 years. There's going to be trouble. Can't you understand that? I loved her. I never got a chance to tell her. She cried. Can you beat that, a beautiful thing like her, crying over a slob like me? Listen to me. Have you ever seen a lynch mob? And what do you think that silence means out there? That everyone's asleep? By morning, that silence will be the loudest noise you've ever heard. She died so easy. It didn't take much. To dress it. You had ruffles on it. She was wearing the yellow dress. I didn't even notice. Well, I checked that whole area up there. Couldn't find a thing. He tell you anything? I can't reach him. You better put him in a cell. Come on, boy. And then we'll have to load the... It's been a long time since we've had to use them. What do you say, Mac? Hi, Bill. 
How about checking this right front tire? It feels kind of low. Sure. Well, I guess Sherman's really buzzing with excitement, huh? Imagine rape and murder in a town that size. What are you talking about? Well, didn't you hear about it? No. Oh. Yeah, my brother-in-law phoned a couple of hours ago and said some girl by the name of Anders was killed. Uh, Carrie Anders. Carrie? Yeah, did you know her? She was my friend's girl. Well, don't worry, they got the punk who did it. Some stranger. They ought to hang the bum. Phil, you gotta take me back. Now, look, you know $20. I... $20. I've got to run. 30 Tire okay? Yeah, it's okay. Relax, kid, you're on your way. Right there. What are you going to do? Bring him out. Bring him out here now, Tom. Don't do this, Cal. You don't know that he killed Carrie. But what you're doing is murder. Give me the keys. Listen to me. No, you listen to me. Are you going to bring him out here, or do I have to go get him myself? Jim, come out here. Put him in his cell. Put him both in his cell. Follow his catcher. Think what you're doing. What is this? I'm going to beat you, boy. Beat you till you can't stand up and turn you over to the others. No. Well, you got to believe me. I wouldn't. Get him out of there. I didn't touch her. I'll bet you did. I didn't touch her. I didn't touch her. I didn't mean to kill her. She was... She was trying to scream. I didn't mean to kill her. She was... Trying to scream and... I...
made a mistake. This came in a couple of days ago. I didn't know we had a celebrity in town. There's the phone boy. What's going to happen to Anders? He was wrong. He'll pay for it. Carrie's dead. And you almost were. Long distance, please. I'd like to make a collect call to Mr. or Mrs. John Winslow in Larchmont. Tell Danny I'll be back. Sure. Dad? It's great to hear your voice, too. Well, that... that's swell, Dad. Well, look, it's uh, too long to go into now, but I'm bringing someone home with me. A friend. Yeah. I love the rings they make when they hit the water. Have you ever been in love? Bex. Bex? Come on, Bex. We're going home. 